Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of Objects in Space or welcome to episode 3 welcome back to Objects in Space um, just found this officer, he's Greek <coughs> I'm tempted to <laughs> to dob my friend in but I might get some repeat business in the future so I'm not going to do that Um, anyone to talk to? <clears throat> Oops, wrong one. Have a look at the contracts. So, can we get any licenses yet? No. So, we can get some work for Leon. Cox's Bazaar. Just let me get my. Um, where is my picture? And if you are. Um, if you do fancy playing this and you need these pictures, just ask. Or if you want some information I've got, just ask. And I'll post them somewhere. So, Cox is bizarre. Maru. So that's one jump away. And we have 24 hours to do that. We don't get much money. See, we don't... That's not really a lot of money. So Penton and Coxie will tip both these. Um, can't sell them yet. Oh, we'll buy the water. Your fees. Uh, do we have any mail? Oh yeah, I forgot to say that guy messaged us the tips he told us, and we've also got two emails here. Oh crap! I should have mentioned if you're new here, I may not have a jump drive yet, but you'll need one to come find me. Galileo in part of the jump gate network. Take out some loans if you have to. You can get cheap ones for like 5k k or so, I reckon. It'll be good to see you. Also, we'll keep an eye on the station ship registry. If I see us, I'll pop up on and over to the bar. Yeah, we don't need to reply to these. Quite a lot of MT. We could modules. See, the other thing I've read is that you don't really see much reason to um, change ships. Why are these yellow? A damaged component. Some more components. So it's always good to check these just to maintain your ship, and I like that about this game. Be nice to be able to see. Oh, um, it'd be nice to have a filter on what components you have on your ship. These are the same; they're just more expensive, so you can see like the efficiency on these is two. 
Aldrin's two on these. They've, they're a bit more efficient. So these are the same. You can still use these components. Airlock closed. Our first destination will be to Pen Penitent. there so much better with a colored map and then Maru so we're looking for the Maru jump gate which I think is down here oh no it's up there oh no We have 24 hours to get there. Which I think... I think an hour is one minute, so we've got about 25 minutes to get there. With time compression. Yeah, time compression affects that as well. Yeah, another thing to note as well is that I forgot to mention before. If you are playing this game, up the top right you've got a question mark and it's the Infopedia. So if there's stuff you're not aware and you know you don't know about or you wanna like I want to know what PCE was which is potential collision event turns on to indicate you're at present on a collision course with another object. But the factions docking and undocking. Stealth. All about MCOM. Hacking. Uh, a developer note here saying plans to have contracts which is a hack it ship but it's in isn't implemented so it looks like that's not going to be implemented it's such a shame again I'm, I'm so gutted what are you military military authority yep no signal in front of us let's just check this yep there's only one system active so it's just probably a false reading and our computer will probably realise this soon and remove the question mark yep So there's three types of nebula, there's these blue ones which are quite nice to hide in. There's red ones which damage your hull and purpley ones which damage your electrical systems. I'm actually I'm a little bit worried about this contract. Oh, it does so many hours we've got left. So we've got 22 hours left. We should be alright. Let's just get this done fast. Let's see if we make a profit on any of this. Yep, above.
deliver that one. Then we're going to Cox's Bazaar in... What was it? Maru. So have we got any more Maru? We've got this one. 36 hours to do this, so might as well take this one. Pay these fees and go. Reminds me of um, Euro Truck Simulator, but in space. In space. And that'll be contract complete, yep. Staying away from the sun. I'm sure um, I'm pretty certain it does give you some damage if you go close. So we're nine minutes away. Twenty one hours left. Flying there. Look to a course correction. Known. It's like it's going to be something that, or well, maybe not. This is where our weapon system would be as well if we had one. Known. This is definitely something. Definitely something. Whoa, hello. That's why we don't like these. Yep, we're out of it. What did we damage? We took some light damage here, look. Bow to be damaging his systems. I think this was damaged from before. There we go, we all look good. But no damage to systems, but we have damaged the um do have damage to the front of the ship. Some debris. Unknown contact here. False positive. Looks like we'll just dodge the asteroid field. Move the microphone. Just in case you hear anything. But yeah, really, quite, you know, when it's like this, it's quite relaxing. Yeah, if we had a grappling arm, we could um, go have a look at these and salvage some stuff. Oh, come on. Literally had one percent of asteroids and we took damage. Signals breaking up on some of these. At least I like to think it's that. 
New concepts, no IFF. Definitely a ship. A new message. Let's just check our time on this. 18 hours left. Oh, it's Leslie. Hey, Cameron, it's Leslie again. Listen, it occurred to me that I kind of didn't really explain much of how you can make money out of here. I thought I'd fix that. You know that taking contracts is good and all, and that a bunch of the same a bunch of the same company will see you some proper, properly lucrative ones start to come your way. I don't think I told you about the general trading. It's not like we'll make each other in Leo, and you can get cheapish gas from Lego and sell it at the other ports for some easy money. But Lego is still right next to those central planets. Ain't going to make you that much cash. Bottom line, the further you go into the outer systems, the more likely you'll be to get cheap goods. You want to be bringing them back to places like Leo, mainly to sell C. To get yourself a jump drive if you don't have one already, go buy some food in Galileo, some gas in Diwali, or some industrial goods in the Two Sisters. You'll see what I mean. Happy hunting. I'd like to reply to that, saying thanks. But yeah, that's what I was talking about before, about trading. There are some strategies there. Some damage on the battery. Bring all these chips in. Efficiency 116 compared to. Yeah, that's got the same efficiency. <laughs> Guess it didn't make that much difference. That was charging back up. See, I love all these numbers. I don't know what half of them mean. I love them. You can even change what takes priority and what's um, when you press MCOM what happens. When you press MCOM. Okay, we're docked with a jump gate. Pay fee. And jump. Now we need to get to, where was it? Proxy's Bazaar. And go to so we're gonna go and go to first because it's right there. False reading. See? It's dark. Contracts, let's deliver this. This one even. No more contracts to take here. It's all these damaged ones. We go past it. Just handy to have, just in case. Don't want to lose a battery because we ain't got one. 
one thing I didn't check. That below market average. Contract complete. Yep. It's on dock. And head to Cox's Bazaar. So not many credits yet, you start off small, and if you are playing um, and you're chasing someone down or something like that, you want to hide, you want to make your turns just in nebulas, or as best you can, looks like it's something, because while you're in here, you're less likely to be seen, especially if you're turning, because you, your drive is the main thing, and if you want to reduce power to that, that's there. Oh, we need to repair as well. We'll do that now. We're into the bazaar now. Eight hundred and twenty eight credits, that's decent. Eighteen hours. We'll do this one. Casey Cromer, hello. Hope you don't mind me saying this, saying what? I know who you are. Oh my. I'd imagine you without allegiance is the sort of person who might go where the wind takes them, who isn't too scrupulous about their less than glamorous associations. Is that you? Such glamorous associations, that's me, alright. Lucky guess. I'm Casey, by the way. Casey Cromer, listen, I need some pretty serious cooperation. I'm listening. I'm a little like you, but without a ship. I take jobs where I can get them. Usually planet side smuggling goods or people. Because you take care of people when the need arises, I go where the money is. Go on. Did you read in the news about a sabotage attempts by the Angola giant gasworks? Let's pretend I did. I was paid by a group called the Anarchists of Non-Objectivism, a revolutionary bunch from Parsis. They got me to deliver some cargo to a particular location on the colony after it got shuttled down from the space station, which I did. What I didn't know was that it was a sabotage job. I figured it was to help take down Leon interested in Angoda, but the whole thing was a giant case for explosives. You know the Anarchists. I think so. The militant anti-capitalist revolutionaries, in their eyes, that much is clear from the news. They want to hurt the Leon Empire and other systems. Yada yada yada, I did the job on the end, go to gasworks for them, but I had to a ball. <clears throat> okay, so you collaborate with terrorists then. Surely you've taken jobs from your less reputable source in your time too. Yeah, but I, no, not really, I put my contacts carefully. But it's fit to answer for someone making money from all sides of politics, like you. I'll lay it out for you, and then you can tell me whether you'll help me or not. If you don't like what I have to say, then fine. You can be on your own way, and it'll be easy if we never met. So I've just done this job for the anarchists of non-objectivism. Live some cargo and get out. Enjoy a fat payday. That cargo, it turns out, was a bomb. They'd come here to do it themselves. To do it themselves. So one of their... Ideal... So one of their ideologues would handle the job, but their reach seldom escapes passes. Now you want to share that fat payday with me. How lovely are you? 6,080 credits. Okay, this is me cutting to the chase. 6,080 credits. But if you've been following the news, you'll know that didn't work. So I'm trapped here and I'm desperate to get off this station and out of this system. I'm really in trouble here and I need a Samaritan. Now, 6,080 is half what the anarchist paid me to plant that bomb. Am I speaking your language? What half the ships in the system be looking for you? That's a lot of heat to bring down. Look, I don't have a lot of time here, or a lot of choice, so I'll give you 10,000. 
that's like three quarters of what I was paid. But not just to get me out of Maru, to get me to KO Station in the Tega system. Suzette Le Savage, the CEO of the Engoda Giant Gasworks, she's hired Lee in an aerospace to find me. They will take me, they will touch me for information on the people who hide me. I, I realised that was a mistake to work for them, but I'm a pawn here, you've got to believe me. Come on, ten grand. What do you say? A one trip to KO Station. I swear I didn't know that was in those boxes and now I'll be tortured. I, don't, I, I think I did this before and you get hunted down pretty aggressively, I think. I can't. You have to live with this. You may not have known you had explosives, but you knew you were working for militants. Please. Please. You may only shot at getting out of this. You'll have to take your chances. Goodbye. Okay, fine. Maybe this was a bad idea. Yeah, I've d I did that before, and I don't think I enjoyed it. I think as soon as I left like the station, it was like I got a message on my map saying you're being hunted, and I'm not in the mood for that. <laughs> and I believe I also had a contract that I failed because of that. I'm sorry if that's boring. <laughs> uh, I've got mail. Your recent actions have impressed us, and as a result, we have the pleasure of informing you that additional contract opportunities have been made available to you. Where we're we heading? Back to Leo. Back to Leo. Back to Leo. Yes, so 10,000 sounds nice. But as soon as I got like about this far, I think, or even, I, th I don't even know if it was in this system, but it popped up saying, we know you've got someone aboard. And I ended up having to evade them, try and get away. I have no countermeasures, and it's just difficult. I do plan on doing bounties though. I just want to get some good capital to start with, upgrade the ship a little bit. the feet and we're gonna jump and where was it Pinson commercial So we're on the way there, let's have a look at some of these. So the grappling arm is something we could do. Then we can go scavenging. There's your three different types of nebula. Dichromatic is the deadly one. Charged is purple. Those red and green of these. We 
was that? If you're inside an asteroid belt, there is a chance of a collision. If you collide with an asteroid, you'll hear a loud thumping noise, and your ship's hull will take damage. Your ship is partially hidden. Still does not mean it's a good idea. Our solar panels are the alternate way to power your ship if you don't want a noisy generator. The closer you are to a star, the more power they'll generate. It can be nearly impossible to generate power if you're all the way on the outskirts of a star system, so choose wisely. I'm guessing they're the solar sails. Yeah, and we can get torpedoes as well. We got there quick. Looks like we're going to be scanned. Scans are clean. Get here, and this contract. We've got mail. Yeah, someone wants a lift. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to. Oh, we've got another guy here. What's that the one we talked to before? And the tips guy's back. But for now, I'm gonna deliver this contact contract. I'm gonna end it here because I need to go. And um, thank you very much for watching. Uh, let us know what you think of these this series. I'm enjoying it. I think it's a cool game. Um, I'll see you in the next one. Hope you stick around. Bye bye.